Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Transformers Devastation. I am your host, Alexander Frost, and this is Episode 3. And when last we left off, we finally got to the point where we could actually start switching characters, and I asked you guys in the last episode if you would want me to try and keep things somewhat streamlined and focus on the story, or if I should wander off and just try and find stuff. Well, I only got two votes, and it's a tie vote, so for the sake of consistency and for keeping things streamlined, we're going to try and keep things short. So before we do anything else, let's go through the options that we have available. Uh, we can go back to the mission from here. We also have the weapons where we can equip and synthesize them. From here we can upgrade our weapons through synthesis. One weapon will be upgraded while the other will be used as parts to make the next weapon even better. This process does cost money, however. So from here I can choose uh, what weapons I want each of my Autobots to equip. Uh, it should be noted that the uh, top and right slots are reserved exclusively for melee and ranged, so you have to have at least one of each. The other two slots, you can put whatever you want in them. So technically speaking, if you wanted to, you could have one melee and three ranged, or one ranged and three melee. I like to go for a mix. Two melee, two ranged. And then synthesizing weapons, all you have to do here is you just select the weapon you want, say the lightning sword here, as a base weapon, and then you select the weapon you want to add into it, like so, and then there you go, it'll increase the weapon's power and so on and so forth. Of course, every weapon has a uh, different stat, different stats and skills and abilities associated with them, as you can see on the right. This lightning sword is rank C. It is currently level 3 and has three different skill slots, one of which it has, and it also shows what Autobots can equip them. There are weapons ranked up to at least rank S. It could be double S, but I'm not sure. I haven't found one yet. Uh, what The weapons rank reflect what, or rather, how far you can upgrade it. Like a rank D weapon, you can only push it up to level 5. It can't go any higher than that. A rank C weapon, on the other hand, can go as high as level 10. If you're playing on normal, you're probably not going to see anything but rank D and rank C weapons pretty much until the very last fight where you'll get probably a rank B weapon. So if you find anything better than rank B on a normal playthrough, eh, you're doing pretty good. But if you want to find some of the better weapons, you'd have to go to the harder difficulties. But since this is a new file, there you go. Tech. Equip and develop tech. Tech is essentially items that you can create. Uh, Wheeljack has the ability to create various items. What items you can create are based on how much money you invest into each item you make and how well you do. Like, for example, we'll, we'll do 6,000. We'll start with 1,001. I I and then that little thing moves back and forth, and I have to hit the X button exactly where I want it to stop. And you want to try and get it on the yellow. Sometimes I impress myself. And then you get an item with a random stat associated with it. In this case, an extra 10% EXP. Uh, I'm going to say no to that. Whereas if you commit 5,000, it's going to cost you even more. All right, got it. And it also moves a little bit faster. It'll have to do. Drop rarity up 30%, damage down 6%. Ooh. Let's not equip that. And then of course with status, you can check the status of your Autobots. You can actually take money and put it into your stats and artificially inflate your stats. That way, if you only play as one character and you want to go into hard mode as another character, you don't have to actually play that character and do things the hard way. And finally, the lab, here you can buy and sell items, weapons, and moves. Uh, you, I'm never going to buy weapons from the shop, just because I don't need to. You find way too many weapons. I may occasionally buy an item if I need to, like an auto repair. By the way, buying an auto repair will increase its cost. So if I buy this one at 25000 the next one's going to be fifty, and then the next one after that's going to be 200000 The good news is, if you run out of them, the price resets back to twenty-five. so there you go. And you can also buy various move types, all of which are incredibly expensive. I do want Rush Combo, though. I do want still safe, but that's going to run me 30,000. The others, 
I don't particularly care for it doesn't matter if I get them or not and then of course you can sell weapons that you have tech like that one I don't want to decrease the amount of damage I take wait decreases damage intake does that mean I take less damage you know what let's not risk it let's not risk it for that biscuit all right so now that we've got that all said and done and out of the way just to streamline things again a little bit that's probably going to be the word of this particular playthrough i'm going to switch over to optimus prime and i will see you guys back here in just a minute and i'll show you what weapons and tech i equip for him so i'll be right back all right and we're back so i went on ahead and i equipped optimus with a pair of thermal gloves, a thermal hammer, a pair of basic twin blasters, which are rank C, unlike everything else, which is rank D. So uh, those will be pretty powerful. And a pair, a basic missile launcher, which I took off of Sideswipe. Uh, let's see, the special skills that are associated with the thermal gauntlets are uh, credits drop plus three, or level three, so you get more spear or more money. Uh, burn level one, so my gloves actually do burn damage. The thermal hammer just has overdrive, which makes it easier for me to recover my uh, overdrive ability, my ultimate ability. The uh, blasters, when they are equipped, give me robot speed level three, which means I move faster in normal robot mode. Synthesis experience up, so whenever I synthesize a weapon, I get more experience for it. Item pull, which just makes it easier for me to grab items from afar, and then there's uh, no slots on the uh, on this basic rank D weapon. And then as for techniques, I should have noted earlier that um, each Autobot can equip a certain amount of techs. Uh, in this case, Optimus, he can equip three, Bumblebee can equip only one, and Sideswipe can equip two. You can increase this by leveling them up, but it takes a long time. Uh, the tech that I ended up developing was uh, extra EXP plus 10%, plus 30%, so I got a 40% EXP gain. And max dodge up level 1, which lets me dodge more times in a row, and ultimate recovery up 50%. So yeah, I should be able to do some pretty awesome stuff. So with that said, let's get right back to it. Oh yes, all the other weapons and techs that I ended up developing, I sold it all, so there's nothing left. <laughs> Alright, we have to find the three sub-generators, shut them down. Now, I need a map, I need to see where I'm going. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. <laughs> Why don't the Insecticons attack us? Not that I'm complaining. Strange. They don't seem to notice us. There's something different about these Insecticons. Took you to school, son! Oh! You just don't mess with Optimus when he punches you. You just don't. You just don't. Streamline, streamline. If I do find caches and stuff like this on the way, I will break into it. You know, just for obvious reasons, but I'm not going to go out of my way to find things. Huh, look at that, there's the first sub-generator. This will be easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Disengaging the first sub generator now. Oh my god, that was so amazing. <laughs> oh fuck, son. Ooh. Ooh, I'm getting the vapors off of that. Alright, let's head on to the next one. Now, I do... I do have a bit of a confession. Uh, aside from the first, I want to say, five episodes of uh, the movie, and maybe occasionally an episode here and there in the second generation, I haven't really watched anything from the original generation of Transformers. Just because I was a real little kid, and I never really had control over what I got to watch. So... Some of the Decepticons I'm not going to be really familiar with. I'm going to be like, who is that? Like, if you told me to name the Constructicons by name, I would have been like, I got nothing, dude. I can name Devastator and Hook, because, you know, he had a hook. That's about it, really. Uh, yeah, I'm a little embarrassed, but I'm still a fan, so, you know. Shit, don't, don't hit those. Whoa, 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 whoa! Jesus! I was not expecting that. I was not prepared for that. Oh, look, no. You're gonna need your gloves for this one. Now take your hammer. Ugh. I was not prepared for that. I am, however, prepared for this. I am for Come on. Oh god, this is faster. This is what I would have said if I didn't run out of energy. You guys are you just spraying wild, man. I could have just driven through that. I wasted all that energy. Well, this one's closer, so let's head over to this one. Oh, hey, a weapon. Oh, well, that just looks freaking fantastic. Yep, yep, okay, there you go. Granted, I could have just shot them, but like I said, I'm trying to... Oh, shit, hi, guys. Let's try that again. Oh, that simplified that. Vehicular manslaughter? <laughs> Prime's new favorite pastime. Vehicular Decepticon aside. <laughs> uh, uh, I had entirely too much fun doing it. I should feel guilty for doing that. I should. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm not dealing with you. I'm just gonna break this open and move on about my day. Because I have things to do. Generators to shut down.
Wow. Shut down the sub generator. Maybe leveling these weapons up to level five was overkill. Because holy damn, son. Granted, I could just walk around it, but, you know, robot mode and all that. Robot mode. Vehicle mode. That's what I meant to say. Who doesn't want to drive around as Optimus? Oh, my. Turn around. Again, I know I could just shoot these things and be done with it, but... Well, here's the last sub here. Judith, I know how to word. I really do. Here's the last sub-generator. Let's go turn it off. Down the sub do I actually have no I do not I got into the late part of that fight and I was like hey do I have an auto repair just in case I fuck up no no I don't <laughs> I should go buy one before I get killed <laughs> by the way do I have any no I don't have any okay I thought you can also find items that increase your stats, but I don't have any because I haven't really been looking for anything. So I started thinking too much in that fight. That's why I started screwing up. I should have just uh, kept at it. I find that if I don't think about the battles, if I just do them, things go way better. Way better. Come on, give me health. I need health. Thank you. Now. Shut down the primary generator. Which is all the way back across the city. Well, no time like the present. Really? You want a piece of this? D 
did you not see what I just did to the Constructicons? What fucking chance would you stand? None. Ugh. So young. So naive. to deal with these things. Still too far back. Right about here should be fine. Oh my god. Next. Here I was worried for nothing. Next! <laughs> right about here should be fine. Okay! <laughs> I feel a little overpowered. Alright, that's where I need to go. This is going to be kind of a short episode, because I am going to go ahead... As I was saying, I am uh, going to head back so I can buy an uh, auto repair thing in case things go uh, south on me. I'm not fighting these guys, they're not... Alright, I am fighting these guys, because they're in the way. They are just in the way. Guns. Save myself a little headache. Getting good experience. Who's coming around next? Let's go. Optimus waits for no man. Oh, they changed their tag pattern. They got wise to what I was doing. Alright, moving on. Let's see, am I going the right way? I think I am. Nope. <sighs> the minimap could stand to be a little bit bigger, in my opinion. And uh, the other thing that I would dearly love is if you could put a map marker or something on there. Really? You know what, boys? I do not have time for your shenanigans. I am leaving. I am going back to the Ark. I will come back and play with you later. Oh, there's some burn missiles. Sweet. Some steel knuckles, freeze blaster. Nothing terribly out of the ordinary. The thing that I want, though, just as a safety, because usually if you, um, if I were just, like, wandering around finding stuff and, you know, looking for everything, I would have probably found, like, two or three other repair kits by now, instead of only one. So I will go ahead and buy that repair kit, and then I think this is where I will stop for this episode. So thank you, everyone, for watching, and I will see you on the next one.